Hi, Jawahir. Hello. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming. Um, okay, as I was telling you when you came in, and uh, this is the first time I'm interviewing uh, an individual uh, without knowing them yeah. personally, okay? <laughs> so it's going to be interesting yeah. because it's going to be for the first time even I hear your story, yeah. <laughs> okay? So usually what we do is we start, we go back. We go back to high school and then we take it from there, Yeah. okay? So tell us, uh, how was high school and uh, take us through that. Okay. High school was good um, from what, I mean... And yeah, my memories of it was really were really good. Um, I went to Ibn Khaldun, and then, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, did, were you like an IB? And, uh, no, I was not an IB. You were not an no. IB. Oh, that's that's very interesting, because <laughs> usually most of the kids yeah. are, and, and not by choice, yeah. uh, parents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, the reason I feel, I remember hearing this ed piece of advice from my older sister. She's six years older than me. And she was, at the time, in college. She was like, Juju, um, high, uh, college is going to be the funnest years of your life. And if you take IB, they're gonna, it's going to be shorter. Like, why would you want to make the funnest years of your life shorter? Cute. But I was like, yeah, you're right. OK, I won't take IB. <laughs> OK. But, but high school was like, well, it's, it was nice. Um, wasn't it wasn't that stressful and I had friends in IB and I remember how like stressful it was for them True. um it was it was nice for me I okay enjoyed it. yeah yeah any uh, special focus in high school anything you were interested in more yeah. than in, in, in other subjects um I remember I I, I liked of course, yeah, growing up, you know, you like classes that you're good at. Mm, <laughs> so yeah. I remember really enjoying economics um, and getting good grades in that. I liked uh, math and I was, it wasn't, a, I didn't take a math IB, but there was an option to take a math enriched classes, yeah. which were like a bit harder than the normal math classes. And I, I did that and I enjoyed it also. Mm. Uh, I remember enjoying art and pottery a lot. Mm. Um Okay, and when you were in high school, did it did it manifest like okay, when I go to college, I'm going to study this or I had study no that? Idea what so I you graduated from high school. What did you have in thought? I didn't know what I wanted to study. So all the universities that I applied to, I applied as undecided, um, which was kind of a blessing because. Um, in the states in the states yeah, yeah i Be applied to yeah. the states because yeah. they have the undecided yeah. over there so i applied and then i got acceptances from um like a couple of universities so i just picked the 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 best one out of them okay you know? so okay. then i went there uh now college and then um which state was that in, in? boston Cambridge. Boston. Oh, okay yeah. okay um and then I at the time also my sister that is three years older than me was there okay. and and uh, so all of them were in Boston so she she was there so it was an easy like um, to get adjusted uh, yeah yeah kind of um, and then when I was there during orientation um, I had to pick classes okay so I was like okay what am I interested in I like art I like math I like um, I wanted to do some, like, I was interested in business. Um, so I, actually, I put down my classes, and then um, they, it's, uh, the, someone told me, like, oh, you can't take an architecture class. Oh, I, and they had architecture classes. Okay. So I was like, okay, I'll take one architecture class, one this, one this, one this. And then someone told me, you can't take an architecture class if you're not an architecture exactly. major. Yes. So I was like, um, okay. And then at the time my mom was with me, she's like, okay, if you want, you're like you're good at these things, try it. If you don't like it, you can always change next semester. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Okay. So I, I did that. And then I liked it, so I just stuck you with it. You mean the architecture? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you did take the architecture <laughs> class. Yeah. No, they told me I can't take the class unless I change my major to architecture. Exactly. So you changed so it to... So I changed my major to architecture. All right. Just for one course. Yeah, just like... Okay. I, I was like, let me try it. Like, I don't have anything I, you know, I'm like, I want to study in exactly. specific. Let exactly. me just try it. And it's true. If I don't like it, I can change, you know, and... So I did that. <laughs> I did it, and then I liked it, so I, st I stuck with it. And I'm really glad I 
studied it. So you studied architecture? So I studied architecture, Okay. Yeah. And uh, usually architecture is what, five years? Five years, yeah. Five years. Yeah. Okay, so you graduated from architecture school. Yeah. What happened next? And then I um, came back to Bahrain. So during my last semester of um, architecture school, not the last semester, sorry, the semester before the last. Okay. Um, my program was really cool because they uh, you have two co-ops, which is uh, co-ops are semesters where you um, work in a place and get credit as intern I mean, yeah. internship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, one of my, the the semester before the last, I had a co-op and I was doing it in Bahrain in an architecture firm here. Oh, okay. And during that time when I was in Bahrain, um, one of my mom's friends. Yeah. Um, mashallah, she's really like, she's a, such a charitable person and stuff. And she was telling me that she's going to um, Syria, to a, a Syrian refugee camp, where she would, um, she's going to buy them tents and stuff. And okay. I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. Like, I want to help. I want to, how can I help? Like, and she was like, and you could donate money. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And I was thinking, like, I don't want, at that time, I, I mean, I wasn't earning an income. I was, um, you know, interning. Intern, and yeah. Yeah, I mean, the money that I will have would, would to donate would be like my father's money, you know. Yeah. But I was like, I want to do something about, yeah, you know, you just feel like you want to do something. Okay. So I was like, okay, what can we do? I was sitting and thinking with my mom. And then she was like, why don't we sell cookies? She, my mom loves to, like, bake. <laughs> and nice. And, mashallah, her recipes are, like... Um, my friend's favorites, you know, like every time there's like a birthday or yeah. whatever. They want your mom's yeah. cookies. Do you bring cookies, bring <laughs> cookies. So I was like, okay, so let's sell cookies. And from the money that we make, we'll donate that amount to um, to my mom's friend to take to, to, to buy tents. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, okay, so we made an Instagram post and, um, and mashallah, the amount we raised was very yani, humbling. I was like, oh my God, you know, when you feel like, I can make that much change. Yes. Like it was uh, it was very surprising to me that like, oh my God, so many people wanted, you know, once they heard like, oh, the, buy this the cookies is going and this is towards the cause. that, yeah. yeah. Um, they were very um, charitable in that sense. I was like, okay. And the whole uh, amount was going towards the charity? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, because at that time, like yeah. I was like, okay, I want it to be a, ch sure. a charity. But, uh, we raised the amount and it wasn't like the, once people heard like oh um, about this cause some of them didn't even want cookies they just wanted to help you know so that yeah. that big amount was was not um, yeah, just for the cookies yeah. but alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah we have that in Bahrain yeah, and, uh, yeah. and uh, people because of the cause yeah. they say okay you know what I, you're doing great, um, whatever and you're they doing. And they hear of it. They're like, yes. I have an opportunity to yeah. help. Let me yeah. help, you know? Yeah. Okay. So, so that went really well. And this, and then I, we, you know, the, the amount was donated. I saw the impact. She sent me pictures of the tents. And I was like, and then I went back to Boston. So right. during my last semester, I just kept on like coming to my mind that like how big of an impact I can make and how big of an impact like something Selling something cookies. like this can yeah. make yeah, yeah. so uh, i started working on a business plan and like i wanted to the main focus like something i just kept in my mind that i wanted to be sustainable okay in the sense that when charity is linked to a business mm -hmm. it doesn't depend on people feeling charitable because there's yeah, there's a lot of charities right. out there you know like True. and um, so how can you make a charity sustainable is to link it to a business. And during that semester, I kept, and because it was always on my mind, I kept like researching the topic, like, okay, charity, but what kind of chair? Like, there's a lot of chair, like, right. you can be chari charitable in many senses. So what is the most sustainable way you can be charitable? So um, with the research, like, I'm, I feel like I'm not a specialist in charity, like, don't get me wrong, but no, like, yeah, yeah. I did the, 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 the research, research that I yeah. could to, to end up where, uh, what I just, yani, to justify what I decided uh, on. Okay. So um, then I, I found out that like the most impact you can make is when you, you know, empower someone 
rather than just giving them money, you're empowering them with like an education. Mm -hmm. You know, like, don't buy someone a fish, teach them how to fish. Fish, exactly. Yeah. I was going to go to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just don't go around giving fish to people. Yeah. Show them how to fish. Exactly. Yeah. So you wanted to donate money, but not as cash, yeah. as something that goes towards something that will empower yeah. them. Yeah, something that will make them make cash in the future, yes. you know? So, and this was all during what you were researching yeah. and trying to do. To, yeah, to, to think, figure out like yeah. what what's the next step? What can I do with this? Okay. You know, um, and you are still in your last semester yeah, now yeah. in school. Okay. So then, like I I you know made like a logo and okay, so I decided on um, oh and the the best way to give charity is also to um, empower women to um, through education, right? You know because. Um, and there are many um, ways that is, that is like... A lot of people ask me, okay, but why just women? Yani, right. Can't you help men? Can't you help men get an education and stuff like that? Definitely, but when you help a woman, get, when a woman is educated, they're like her, the, the social impacts are much greater than, than if, if, if you educate a man. Because the, the mother, the woman is the mother and you ensure that future generations will be educated as well. And um, when a, a woman is educated, she's less likely to, um, to bring more kids into this world. Right. Um, for, usually, and like, she can also work and depend on herself exactly. if she, you know, let's say she doesn't get married yeah. or the family can't afford to. Yeah, yeah. yeah she can stand on her, her own feet yeah. and she can educate her kids. And yeah. um, also, infant mortality goes down when the mother is educated and maternal mortality. So she's able to take, a, take care of herself more and her, you know, giving birth more. Um, but there's a lot of like, um, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. Why we cho why I chose a uh, women's education in specific. Okay. But then, you know, I made the logo, I made, you know, and then when I came back to Bahrain, I started working on, okay, so now let's like make this into an actual thing. I started it at home. Yeah. But tell me something now. Yeah. I'll stop you right there. Yeah. I, I love the story. Okay. So you researched and you want to come home after graduation and start your charity. Okay. Yeah. And you researched it well on knowing how to empower and the empowerment was going towards women and education. Okay. Yeah. What did ha architecture have there in, in that arena? Yeah. So like the plan was that like this was you know, this was something that I was feeling passionate about at the moment. And it, it was something that I felt like I can impact at the moment. And then I always felt like I would go back, to, like not go back to architecture, but okay, when I come back to Bahrain, I need to find a job, sure. you know, if to work in architecture and stuff. And that would take time. This was kind of like a... I can immediately it's a start. Pro yeah, it, yeah, it started off like a project. Okay. Like, you know? Yeah. I guess I wasn't really thinking of like... Um, it was like two separate things in my mind. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you thought of the baking. Yeah. Right? Uh, because of what happened yeah. th last time when you started. Uh, yeah. The, co the, the baking was just a pro uh, product. Okay. For me. Yeah. yeah. I don't bake and I, I don't, yani, let's say I didn't oh. bake. I didn't like baking. Okay. You know, like it's, so it's not like you were going to do that. No. Okay. Uh, it was tell just, us, tell it, us about that. Yeah. It was just a pro, like a, a product. I, I needed a product because I had this like business idea. Yeah. A, a business and charity. Okay. Because I don't want it to be a charity. And because if it's not sustainable, then, then yeah, I mean, how can I keep giving if it's if right. it's not making money, so okay. I was like, okay, the best way to have a charity is to be linked to a business. Okay, and what's what do I sell? Oh, okay, I know this is a product that people like. Let me sell this, you know. So, so you linked it to the ba bakery. Bakery. Yeah, baking, yeah. Okay. Um, why, why? Why bakery? Because I felt like that was what started the idea. 
Okay. You know? And you, you don't have any passion or anything um, for baking? No. 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 My okay. mom does. Yes. So I was yeah. like, okay, she'll give me the recipes. Uh-huh. And, See? Uh, know, yeah. So so there there is kind of like a connection to it that yeah. you can have support uh, in knowing that see because if you want a business to be sustainable mm. and if you want to make money so that you can have your charity thing that business has to be something uh, that can be sustainable and yeah, go on definitely uh, right so you have to have uh, some sort of of help or support definitely but i felt that يعني, that passion baking passion yes. doesn't have to be from me Exactly. You know, no, I can, but no, I, but the thing that yeah. that your mother is there yeah. and uh, gave you comfort. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. So so you're back. You graduated. You have this charity uh, business uh, in mind, uh, business model. Yeah. Um, so what happened when you came back? So when I came back, it started off um, as a home business. So I was like, okay. You know, it's still a scary idea. I'm mm-hmm. starting a business. I just graduated from college. I don't know what I want to do in terms of like, do I want to start architecture mm-hmm. right now or like, and and it was scary also because I don't know anything about baking. It's not like you know I know how to like exactly do this thing, exactly. You know, but yeah. I was like, okay, what's the safest way to do it? I'll start it from home. If it picks up and if it works, then I'll then it will go on. If not, then You know, it was an idea and it didn't work. <laughs> okay. So yeah. then we started it from home. It, alhamdulillah, it really like picked, picked up. up. Mm-hmm. And once I felt like, okay, it, um, the amount of money it's making um, can cover and the charity, like separate yeah. from the charity, is it can sustain itself. And then I started to look for um, a shop. Yeah, to make okay. it into like a business. Okay, so now... In here, uh, your mom is helping you. Um, no, uh, yeah. So because you yeah. said you started it from home. Yeah. So how how did you start it from home? Okay. So um, uh, if my I mom, can ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah? of course. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> so so my mom had the recipe. You're right. And the housemaids at home, my housemaid Joseline, used to like. She was also very passionate about the idea of of giving back to um, educating S- women oh, and stuff okay. like that. Okay. So I I I told her like, okay. I'll I'll pay you because I don't have any employees. You know, right. if you're if you're going to be making the cookies, I need to compensate you. So she would do it on her free time, and I'd compensate her okay. in that way. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then once it started growing and growing and growing, and I felt like you know it can stand on its own two feet, then I got a shop. Wonderful. Yeah. Tell me, what was thoughts in in your mother's head now my daughter has come back and she has graduated yeah. from architecture yeah. <laughs> uh, and I have dreams for her that she would come back and and go and work in yeah. an architecture uh, firm yeah what, what was she thinking yeah. no she was very supportive first of all because like I feel like you know like who doesn't want i don't know she was very like happy that i was doing this okay um and uh, till this day she's always like she's <laughs> she always calls me juju try this recipe juju do this try this try this okay. you know so she's very very supportive in that sense i don't think like i let her down in any way by wonderful. Like, doing that <laughs> wonderful um and then also at the same time it wasn't the only thing i was doing um i started when Uh, also, as soon as I came back from university, I started going to my father's office and helping out there, and like you know, taking care of some of his his business. Business, yeah. Not not it's not an architecture firm. Okay. No, it was uh, more of a property management. Yeah. Okay. And that's something that I feel like I I still till this day do. I don't do it full time, but um, you know, it's it's always like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. So um, so you took off. And you got a shop. Yeah. Uh, so how did you do it? Uh, um, so the shop is in Rafah. Tell me, tell me, did yeah. you bring in uh, uh, like somebody to to help you with the marketing, with the business model, with all of that? No. No. Okay. No. Oh, I, but also in university, I my major was architecture, but my minor was business. So oh. I feel like I I kind of knew what I needed to do. Okay. And also. Yeah, and you, learning about these things is different than trying it, yes. trying to do it, of yes. course, you know. So yeah. um, 
I think because I started out small and safe, it gave me enough time to think about like, yani because I started at home, I knew exactly how many employees I would need, um, you know, uh, how big of a space I need, how, how big of a space I can afford, you know. Okay. So because of the, uh, the, the time that it took for you to, uh, to have the things ready, yeah. like the cakes take this time, uh, yeah. this much time, the yeah. cookies take this much time, takes this much people to work on yeah. them. So it, how long did it take? Uh, so from when I started at yeah. home till yeah. I think like maybe a year. A year. Yeah. Okay. But yani, not a year to be ready. A year till I opened the shop, you know. So maybe that's like I not, would say like six months. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Maybe like six months until I decided no, you know what, like this is yeah. is working. And then okay. it took me maybe six months to like you know find a shop and open and stuff like that. Okay. So tell me something now. Um, I'm just interested so that for people yeah. who will be hearing this uh, story and all that, and they might be wanting to do their own business mm. and, and all that. Um, how hard was it to go through all of this? Um, getting a shop, um, getting the, the right uh, place, yeah. the rents, they're yeah. expensive here in, in Bahrain. Yeah. And um, I think, um, Yani, I... Yani, it is hard yeah. in terms of like when it's a, a food and beverage you True. know shop that yeah. you're trying to yeah. open. You don't only need to get like um, a CR, CR. You need yeah. to get a health license. Exactly. Ministry of Health, yes. and that's a whole other like uh, uh, you know uh, 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 arena or, or concept yeah, or something. That yeah, you need yeah. To go through. Um, but I did that all. Um, yani. You know, it was a lot of learning. I feel like if I were to do it all over again, it would be much faster, obviously. The because, first time you yes, don't know where to go, go, you don't know who to talk to. Absolutely. Um, so, but so I feel like, Annie, just asking questions. Right. I feel like, Annie, once, if you're, if you're not shy to like ask questions, True. You, you'll get, you'll get there faster. Did you, did you get any support from, from people around you on, uh, where to go, how to do it? Um, definitely, yeah. any, um, any, just asking questions, people, mm. people around you, you know, like, um, but sometimes you're, yeah, any, it's, it's very, it's your and your, your, the answer you're looking for is very different than the answer, you know, people are gonna, uh, are gonna give you Good. just because the nature, yeah, any, just because there, it's a different, um, thing you're trying to open, sure. You know? And even yeah. even if it, if the other person opened a restaurant and they're giving you advice on your restaurant, it's it, 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 different, different uh, experiences. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, okay, tell me something now. You, when you were at home and you were selling uh, uh, these cakes and cookies and all that, um, what was the your marketing strategy? How would you get people to come and by your, I mean, we've got so many bakeries, yeah, right? Definitely. And we've got so many cakes. Everybody's making yeah. cake and cookies. H how did you market yours and uh, have people come and buy so that you could get to that uh, level where you could start your own business? I mean, get the, uh, the shop and yeah. all that. And all that. Um, yeah, I and mean, from the beginning, the ins I, yeah, I mean, the, our, my marketing was just through Instagram. Okay. And um, it was just like, yani, I was trying to make people aware of, uh, yani, just in a, a business sense. Yes. My um, White Spoon's um, advantage, not advantage, but like what diff what makes White Spoon different from another bakery mm -hmm. is just the fact that it is a charitable company. Okay. You know? So that was there from the start. Yeah. Uh, From the start, uh, okay. it was um, we. Uh, this is a bakery. We're, we're White Spoon. We donate fifty percent of our profits towards women's education. So fifty percent of the profit goes. Of profits. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and I wanted the customers to be um, informed about you know where 
who we're donating to and how they are impacting other people. Oh, good, because that was my next question. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I got this idea. I was like, okay, so whenever um, we we uh, fund a woman's education, that will be a cause. And then when we finish, we're going to have a next the next cause. So okay. each woman that we help will be a cause. And the customers can follow um, you know, the target and where we've reached through the Instagram. So that, you know, if you're our customer and you're following us, you'll be able to see, oh, you know what? Um, we finished so funding. Answer, yeah. cause, so that means the cookies I bought, you know, last week went to this girl's education. You know, so it's like you can you can follow that's, the stories. That's wonderful. And uh, are they local? Uh, not all of them. Not, okay. Yeah, and we're not, uh, I, I, we don't specifically and yani we don't say oh we only help bahraini women okay or oh we only no it's it's um it's all over yeah eh. whoever comes to us yani they're oh, pe- mostly, oh b- they come to you yeah the so women apply. come to you yeah they apply okay. so we have a website and they can fill out their information they apply from all over the world yeah yani, so far it's just been bahrain oh okay <laughs> there was yeah. one woman um, remember I was saying you're Joseline, my housemate. Yes. So uh, her daughter had a. Sc- she has a. She was in the Philippines. She had a scholarship already, right. but she would um, to pay for her dorm. Yes. She would work. Um, you know, after yeah. hours, after yeah. her college, after right. her classes and stuff. So Joseline was telling me that, and I was like, Oh my, okay, we can help her. Like, you know. First of all, like I, she's helped me so much. She, exactly. she started this from yeah. the beginning with me. So who better to help than her? And mashallah, she has a scholarship. That means her grades are amazing. Yes. And she's, you know, she's Absolutely. passionate and like yeah. hardworking. So she was the only cause that was not in Bahrain. Okay. But um, but we don't, I, I don't like, I, I mean, I don't limit just to yeah, Bahrain. So yeah. if, if I were to uh, to have an application of someone that is not in Bahrain, you uh, would a look woman at is it. a woman, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you said um, uh, women apply online and, yeah. and it's all in the Instagram, it's there. Yeah. You, the the cause yeah. and everything and where they can go and, and apply. apply. Yeah. Okay, and what are the criteria? What, what, how do you how do uh, we choose? choose? Yeah. So okay, you're, oh, hold Hold on to that question. Yeah. Before that, you said we choose. Yeah. So what is it? Is it like a committee? Uh, no, it's not a committee. Okay. It's just yeah, I need the application comes to me. But obviously, like I feel sometimes I do need help. Like, okay, you know, these are two people that applied. Give me a, I get second opinion. You right. know, like, okay. Who, okay. Who is, that's yeah. the we. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, lovely. Yeah. Uh, so application, it comes in. What are the yeah. criteria? Yeah, I need what we what what we look for uh, yeah. is um, and she has good grades. Okay. Okay. And um, she is yeah, I need actually in need. You know, right. it's not. Um, so there were some cases where it was like, oh, I have a scholarship to this university, but I don't like this university. So can you help me fund my another, education in another no, university? Was, yeah. You know. It's That's hard. not a need, yeah. yeah because you, you know, already have a scholarship. Yeah. 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 For that's something, you know, that we... You do a, a checkup, background checkup, and, you know, yeah. Yeah, of yeah. the family, and, I mean, of, of the status of, of them. Yeah, to, to my best um, ability. Knowledge, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 To, to my best knowledge, yeah. yeah. Okay. For, um, and then, so, we, grades... Um, that they're, they're that they're actually in need that that they will they have some sort of um, what do they call it like um, stamina or motivation not motivation, not motivation but, but discipline but um, um, definitely all these things yeah yes. that that will re- reflect on their grades but um, social um, yani, what I, basically what we're looking for is that when she gets the education and and um, you know gets a job and she will lift her her, her community with okay. her like okay. what yani uh, 
Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, the, the, the skills or the abilities or, or yeah, I mean, sometimes pe- they're so shy that even if they graduate from from college, then they'll say, oh, you know what? No, I don't want to work. I don't want to. Uh, I just want to get married and sit at home. Yeah, yeah. Then you have not really reached to, to, yeah. the, to the target, to the goal that you wanted to reach to. Yes. Yeah, right? Yeah. So you can sort of know. Uh, yeah when you get so just the way them. she talks like when I talk to her I ask her like oh do you like to do charity as well yani what kind of charity do you like to do because everybody yani ha- you don't need you know you don't need to have money to be a ter- charitable person right but when I ask them that and I see like oh yeah she's you know she's in school maybe she's helped out here or she's done so, this uh, or even yeah. she's donated her time somewhere that's a that's a big thing for me because I feel like if you have that in you You, once you get to somewhere that you know yeah. you can help people you will help people okay you know yeah you have to have it in you yes yeah yeah and um, uh, so do you follow them up afterwards um, yeah uh, like, just, just one question mm-hmm. so this is for college right it doesn't matter some of them are for school some of them are for college for school yeah but for school you mean uh, but but the thing is the school we have the the government schools yeah but for Bahrainis but some uh, let's say an expat worker uh, oh, works okay. in Bahrain their kids sometimes you know oh okay need need they go they have to go to private school the right right, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, in those cases, there are a couple of people that we've funded their um, high school because okay. of that reason. Yeah. Okay. And um, so you follow up uh, their, yeah, their yeah, history, I, how they're doing. Yeah. And they, 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 they contact me and they tell me as well, like, oh, I, I, you know, I got these grades. Look at my grade. You know, like it, okay. it becomes a, a friendship sort of thing. Right. Yeah. Right. And how many ha- have applied? Um, I don't have the number of people that have applied. Uh, uh, well, how many have you helped? Oh, ha- have you, okay. so, sco- uh, you know, so given scholarship we've, to? We've helped 16 women. 16? So women and girls. Yeah. 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 That's and, wonderful. But they're all different amounts, you know, and, and some of them are like the whole you know, college program, program. Yeah, yeah. and some of them are just like, they apply for just a certain amount, you know, like, oh, okay. I have this much, can you help me out with this okay, much? Okay, so they, they are honest also, it's not like come and, and yeah, even yeah. if they have it, they take the whole yeah. thing. And I always ask them that in the beginning, like, okay, we c- we help out with education, how much do you, yani, how much can you put in and how much do you want us to put in? Okay. I always put it out there, you yeah. know, because, yani, They can also claim their, um, and you take, I don't know, take yeah, ownership sure. of their yes, of yes. their education. Yeah, of you know? course, of yeah. course, yeah. Um, tell me something. See, because I am also I'm in Rotary, and and we do uh, a lot of work. And for me, um, I mean, a lot of work in the society yeah. and in the community. Now, to me, doing that has a certain thing for me mm. what is it for you why are you doing this and what is it helping you with personally personally, personally. Yeah. um i need definitely a feel good factor like okay. <laughs> helping people really makes you feel good of 100%, course Annie. of course um another thing is i feel like any i can You know, I, yani, alhamdulillah, I, I, I can share my profits. Yes. You know, I, I, so, so I feel like because I can, I should, I, I should, sure. you know. <laughs> I love that. Um, yeah. God bless. I don't know, I also feel bless like. You, bless you, bless you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I feel like education is uh, something very uh, valuable. You tell um, me about it. Uh, I mean, t- to me, education is something... Um, Nobody can take it away from away you. From you. Yeah. Even if if you don't use it afterward and all that. Definitely. At least it, it's like a foundation. It changes your, your yeah. the way your brain works. It works, yeah. And yeah. just... Uh, when I studied architecture, I, I don't... Do, I don't work in architecture, architecture right no, now. Yeah. But if I was to do it all over again, I would study architecture again. Okay. Because it, it really changed the way I 
think, change the way I solve problems. Right. Doesn't it's not only architecture problems. It's yeah, you know, it changes. Yeah, yeah. It's, so it's, it's the whole structure. It's the whole space inside. It's how people react to that yeah, space, yeah. and yeah. yeah. For, for education, I feel like it's like you know, that, and then also, uh, I feel like. Um, I think the feminist in me um, really like. I feel like yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm making. I. It makes me feel like I'm making a change, change. in the way I like to make mm. a change. Mm. Yeah. Oh bless really you. Oh, Thank you. I love that. Yeah. How are your parents with this? They're are good. they? Are they? I, I think they're very I'm proud. Sure, I'm sure <laughs> they are. They. Yeah. Who cannot be? <laughs> Who cannot be? Yeah. Thank you. Um, what's next for you? What's next? Um, how I long have you been? Ha how long is it that you've had the bakery? So I started in 2017. Oh, mashallah. So it's been four been years while, now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I definitely, I need what's next is inshallah more growth. Um, the more the business grows, the more people it can help. Okay. Um, have Have you thought of uh, another project um, in the same line of charity work, but line? but something else to do? No, no. <laughs> Just fo okay. focused on this one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, um, what about for yourself? For uh, myself. Yes. So I've I also have um, different. I mean, in, you said in the, in the line of charity. This is my only. Yes. Um, business that has something to do with charity. Okay. Um, but I have another restaurant with my sister called Poke Cafe. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, that's... Poke Cafe? Yeah. It's uh, in El Ali is, Mall. Oh, I've never seen it. Really? It's next to uh, Lumi, you know, yeah, that, that yeah. uh, corridor. Uh, how long? Um, We've been there for maybe two years now. Well, yeah, COVID happened, yeah. so yeah, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. okay. Um, so that's another restaurant that, that I kind of manage with my sister. Okay. Um, and then I have like a, other like um, like projects, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Just fun projects. I have like a tie-dye outfit. It's not only tie-dye, it's... Um, and it, me and my friend make clothes. Yeah. And, um, they're like comfortable, feel good clothes. Okay. So I feel and, like. And I, this is on Instagram? Yeah, also on Instagram. Okay. Um, and then I also do my, my father's um, property, property management, management thing. Yeah. It's just like divided yeah. all the way. You're a BCB. <laughs> You're a BCB. Yeah, um, mashallah. Okay. But I feel like that's personally, I mean, that's what I'm doing now and okay. just more growth in those yeah yeah do you feel like okay this is very personal yeah. okay because yeah. The, i yeah believe in it do you think that because you are helping all these people mm -hmm. that it comes back to you um definitely like yeah. i i, I yani, i'm sure the world works in mysterious right. ways right and, and definitely if you're helping out people you you won't be able to pinpoint where it's no, happens, no no but no of course, no, course I feel not like a yeah. very blessed person Press. okay um yani. so i'm sure it does yani. okay yeah. and Love sometimes it. it's about how you look at it yes you know yeah yeah well, I love it. Thank you. I love the story. Thank you. And um, all the best. Thank you so much you. for thank taking you. the time. No, thank you for coming in and, and sharing it with thank us. Thank you. Thank you.